Um, hi, I'm Bronya. I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Jade. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Laura, and uh, this is the MindMate group of volunteers talking about social media. So what platform do we all own? I don't use Facebook anymore, but obviously Facebook, I feel like it's a way to like connect with your family, because yeah. it's always like the old people that use Facebook, but they're not really going to go on Instagram or Snapchat, so it's like we can keep that private for yourself and your friends. My dad's mates. on Instagram. <laughs> but only to stalkers, not to actually put anything on. Yeah, I block my family on Instagram so they don't see my pictures. <laughs> I have Facebook and I actually deleted it when I was in sixth form because I didn't want it mm. and I found that I was left out of everything. I never knew what was going on either in school or like with social stuff so I actually got it again by the time I went to uni even though I didn't really want it. Yeah it's like it's for me it's like to keep up with like my family or the mm. stuff that goes in like my country because mm. a lot of people in my country use Facebook and sometimes I got a lot of memories of it like there's some stuff that you would cringe at like when you see oh I posted that five years ago like there's lots of stuff I could cringe at but it's also like a lot of memories and I don't really want to let go of that my nana's on Facebook yeah. and sometimes she sends me a card about something that I've posted <laughs> but obviously there's a, a slight time delay between when she's seen it and when it arrives at my door so I have to try and remember I don't post very often so I tend to remember but yeah she'll send me a little card going I saw your pictures from when you did this but like have all the fun and it's like yeah it's quite nice to be able to connect yeah. in that way because a lot of all people use that as like one of the only ways they kind of connect with like people that you don't see for a long time Oh, you know, it's easy to just search up their name on Facebook but well, yeah. Instagram is a bit harder because they all got like, different usernames and stuff but you can just like search someone's name that I don't know you haven't seen for like 10 years and then you'll yeah. find them I think most people my age like mid 20s tend to have Facebook they don't all have Instagram Yeah. they definitely don't all have Twitter and I don't have Snapchat, so I don't know how many of them are on Snapchat. And I don't have TikTok either. I only know one person. Yeah, I don't have that. TikTok either. I just downloaded it. It's, I didn't want to because I thought that's just going to be another distraction that I don't need. Yeah. But Is it different from Vine? It's a bit like Vine, to be honest. I've heard it's very similar to Vine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, it's I feel like, like it's gonna. Videos. I feel like no one's gonna use it in like a year or two. That's what I thought. I thought it'd die out quickly. Mm-hmm. So I was like, but it is quite entertaining. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> if platforms don't change, then they do die out. Like Twitter is so different now from how it was when it first appeared. Yeah, I, I made an account years ago, and then I just never used it. Like I never like joined the hype of Twitter. So I made one years ago and I do still use it but I've privatised it because of posting on it when I've not been particularly yeah. great. I don't want that public. But I don't want to delete it and I've got loads of followers on it because I used to do loads of like volunteering stuff and I've set up a new one and I've done exactly the same as I did before in terms of following relevant people yeah. and posting relevant stuff and you just don't really get that many followers anymore because I think Twitter yeah. used to be so much about networking and it was yeah. such a good resource for community projects. I feel like Instagram was quite good for like bringing awareness to things. Yeah. Like there's a lot of posts now on Instagram about like, you know, like the Muslim concentration camps and mm-hmm. all that that I see which you, you won't see anywhere else. So I feel like it can be a good way to like bring awareness. Yeah, like with the whole plastic issue. Yes, yeah, I thought that was quite a good idea, the one where it was like, um, oh, this is how you curl your lashes and there was like Thousands of Muslims have been visited in China and they're forced to like say mm-hmm. the religion. I'm like that was quite smart, mm-hmm. but yeah. I think young people now, and when I say young people, I mean kind of aged 15 to 18, maybe 14 to 18, are doing amazingly at using social media to mobilise social action. Yeah. Like the um, school strike. I don't know which social media things people like. I don't know which platforms they used, but that's gone massive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But a lot like of young people. Benefits. A lot of young people are on Instagram these days. That's how they organise. Yeah, it? and yeah. Um, on the stories as well. Like I see just random pages posting about like the crises we're having in oh, this really? world, like things that are going on, like when the forest was burning in South Africa, and like and um, when California was on fire as well. And then, like, things about, you know, global warming, like, yeah. just post all sorts into the stories just to share it with people. Whereas before, it was a lot harder to kind of get that awareness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. 
on the stories I watch, it tends to be just dogs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've made an Instagram page for my rabbit and I use it more than my own personal one just because it's so positive and like the mm-hmm. rabbit community is yeah. like amazing and yeah and so I was like really yeah. surprised to see like stuff about change and like mm-hmm. politics and yeah. I've curated my stuff. feed to make it very positive on Instagram does anyone yeah. use Tumblr? I used, used to me and like five of my friends continue to post random stuff about our day yeah. we've all been posting about our lives on there since we were about 15 and we've all been following each other the whole time for all the ups and downs of uni and yeah. relationships and everything and I've never met these people and I've, actually I've met a couple of them either because I knew them before or because I've met them since but they're just nice people and it's quite good for getting advice yeah. on like random life things yeah I think with YouTube as well there's a lot of content that helps other people as well yeah. so like people learn how to do the makeup people learn how to change a car tyre like there's everything yeah. out there yeah. how to revise for your exams yeah. how to yeah we'll be hearing more from our MindMate volunteers and ambassadors through this podcast very soon so if you've enjoyed this please subscribe and keep an eye out for more